The first thing on my mind is thank you, Lord. We thank God Almighty for this new day. An opportunity to appreciate God Almighty in our lives, especially in the life of our daughter, Rua Kemi. For giving her the opportunity, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding to run the races of life so far, to attain the age of 60 peacefully, gainfully, and joyfully. We thank God for giving her the opportunity to secure a job like that and to run the duties effectively through thick and thin, coupled with retirement from the public uh, service. And we cannot thank God enough for the masses of God which endures forever. And with that, we want to say uh, praise to God and we say hallelujah now that she's leaving the public uh, work, she's going to stay by herself. And we have the assurance and God's uh, blessing that as she has done so far, she will continue to excel in all undertakings of life through Jesus Christ, through her God-given energy, through wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to do more than that. And we thank God also for her matrimonial home which God has given her the opportunity to be to keep intact so far. The children, the husband, the relations, especially with the aged parents, she continues to run around to take care of everybody. And so far, so good, she excels up to now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What more can I give but give you all my praise? I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. All I'm here to do is thank you lord oh thank you jesus i've come to say thank you lord mm, what more can i give but give you all my praise I thank i'm very pleased you, to share with you a few thoughts about a special woman who is a colleague of mine at the central bank and his sister the Director, Security Services Department, Mrs. Oluwa Kemi Osa Odige. I can't believe that the time has now come, as will always happen, for her to move on to bigger things after a very, very accomplished career at the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mrs. Osa Odige has actually made history, being the first female director of security at the central bank this is no mean feat and i just want to commend her and celebrate that amazing historic milestone i met her when she became the director when she took over the mantle just before she took over the mantle as the director of the department and i found in her someone that was very professional very knowledgeable about her um, and the security area and very committed to ensuring that her work and that of the department reflects global standards. 
I want to say that every time I speak to her, I feel very safe. Of course, she's in charge of security. Clearly, she had a plan. And Alhamdulillah, um, throughout the time she was director, there were no incidents and everything was very smooth. She's a mother. Um, I, was, I was very glad that personally we're able to share some personal um, events. Um, her son, Ogbe's wedding, I was there with my husband. And she was also there for me, of course, when I lost a very close family member. She radiates a sense of calm, competence, and leadership. And I'm very sad to see Mrs. Osaodige leave us at the Central Bank, but I'm very confident that all of her achievements will live on and all of the impute that she had put in the department would forever be, would be a strong legacy that will be built upon. So all that is left is for me to wish her well, to pray that Almighty Allah be at the forefront of what she does next. She still has a lot to give Nigeria and I want to congratulate and celebrate with her family on this amazing milestone. Congratulations and happy birthday. On this occasion of um, Mrs. Olua Kemi Osa Odige's retirement from the service of the Central Bank, I would want to start by recalling you know, our meeting, my first meeting with her. So I had met Kemi in the course of my work in the bank. We, have, we were not that close initially. We came, became closer when she moved to Abuja and was working in the security services department. And then ultimately, she was also privileged to be the director. And I, as the DG, her direct supervisor, we now worked even closer than we did uh, earlier. I must say that I enjoyed working with um, Mrs. Olua Kemi Osa Odige and um, our relationship was beyond just that of a boss and a subordinate. She was always willing to speak her mind on issues, to suggest. I mean, I found her very passionate about the things of Central Bank. And so she was so committed uh, to making sure that this bank moved to the next level. And so she was always there to give her opinion on issues. Now, specifically on her job as the Director of Security Services Department, I found her contribution tremendous and immense in this bank. She has moved the department far beyond you know, where it was when she started. And I want to say that a lot of that was as a result of her drive and her focus. You know, she's quite a determined woman who was, from all indications, trying to make a mark. And I'm sure the mark that she has made will go down in history as one of the major achievements of security services uh, department. I found um, Kemi to be very, very religious. She's a very religious woman, godly, God-fearing, you know, and, um, and that has, I'm sure, helped her to achieve what she was able to achieve uh, in her career in the bank. I want to, at this moment, congratulate her for the successful completion of the tenor. As they say, it's not the start of the race, it's the end that really matters. And I want to say that she ended very well. And as she retires, I want to pray that she will continue to keep the flag flying. So I wish her a very long, healthy, peaceful, joyous retirement life. And uh, I know that she won't just go and sit at home. I'm sure she will get things that she will do to keep her busy. And uh, I know that we'll be in touch, uh, you know, even beyond um, the call of duty in the bank. And I pray that God will continue to guide and strengthen her. Bless her, her husband, her children, and grandchildren. On behalf of myself, my family, congratulate her for this very glorious day. Incidentally, it's the day she's retiring. It's also her birthday, a special birthday, her 60th birthday. And um, so such a diamond birthday should now just go unnoticed. So happy birthday, Kemi. I would also want to say happy birthday on behalf of the entire Corporate Services Directorate. Directors and staff of the Directorate want to wish you a very happy birthday. God's blessings and just whatever it is that uh, is the desire of your heart, we pray that God will pray that God will bring it to come to pass. So happy birthday. 
and all the best. We are here, we celebrate Kemi. Kemi is fun. Kemi can also be tough. She's interesting, good with her subordinate, excellent with her bosses, but most of all, she's somebody we all love and all like. She's made a difference to the institution in the period she has served the role as director. And as someone who is older than her, I can tell her she's coming of age and the fun is just starting. There are many things you have planned for yourself that God has been gracious to grant and many more that you have not even asked for that will manifest in your life and in these times. Embrace it. Have fun. Challenge yourself. And I know you'd be retiring soon, but that's not the end, but the beginning of it all. So to my darling director who has been there for me and my family and who has conspired with my wife at times to get things done, to which I know they're in after. The whole family appreciates you and loves you. Happy birthday and a wonderful one I hope you get. Thanks. So I met Kemi um, about, say about eight years ago. I've been hearing about her since I joined the bank uh, in June of 2014. I think at the time she was in Lagos, manning uh, the Lagos office. And um, everybody that I asked about what to do about security, maybe if I'm going to Lagos, her name kept popping up. Uh, but I finally met her face to face when the bank was considering uh, someone who would take over from the SY director. And her name kept coming up and in fact, one of the people I asked did tell me that even if I asked him, you know, 10 million times, it is the same name that he has and it's uh, uh, Kemi's name. And the first time that we really then met was uh, that memory I really kept in my mind is, you know, encountering her very gentle mien, her smile, uh, but yet her professionalism. And obviously, admiring the fact that she is uh, a trailblazer. She's shown in the CBN that women indeed can do anything. I think she's uh, down in our records as the first female to be director of security. Obviously, women are not uh, really associated with security, but she's done it with her plum. She has led, uh, I would say, by the uh, power of her example rather than by the uh, example of her power. She is someone that I have seen to be very dedicated, knowledgeable, fair, and straightforward when she gives advice. And these are qualities that I believe uh, has served her well while she's been director. And obviously as she uh, turns uh, 60, I bet they, I wish her all the best. I pray that uh, God that has led her this far will continue to be with her, that uh, our almighty God will lead her way, be before her to lead her, be beside her to accompany her, be in her to protect her, be beneath her to uplift her in times of difficulties, and be above her to bless her. Amen. October is a very special month in our family. I want to wish you mom a happy birthday, happy retirement, and happy wedding anniversary. I thank God for your life and all that he's done for you. And I pray that he continues to bless and keep you. And that like your retirement is not the end, but the beginning of greater things to come in your life. We appreciate you very much and I love you. For oh, your grace and mercy. Happy birthday, mommy. I'm very grateful <laughs> for this chance to celebrate you and to celebrate your accomplishments. I'm also very thankful to God for choosing me to be my mom because you. he's shown me how to be selfless, strong, and, and warriors.
as you journey into the next chapter of your life, I pray for God's favor and praise so to guide and envelope you. Say, You're just getting started and I'm excited to see where he leads you. Happy 60th birthday, mommy. I thank love you so, so much. You, you honestly inspire me in everything that you do. You, and I'm so Lord. proud of you and all of your accomplishments. More you are not just my mother, but you're my best friend. You are my Keep mentor, you are my, my inspiration. And I, I just pray that God's hand of protection Lord. will continue to be upon you I and that he crosses all the labors of your hands and he just gives you joy More beyond imagination. I love you so, so much and I can't wait to celebrate you. with you. I've come to say thank you, Lord. Mm, what more can I give? Forgive you all my praise. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What I'm here to say is thank you, Lord. In the good, good time. Celebrate many, many, many more decades together. And we're grateful to God that we get to do this very special celebration today. Um, retirement is just the beginning. I have no doubt that there's like greater things ahead in God's plan for you. And we just pray that we all are kept to see these things in Jesus' name. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. To your greatness, there will be no end. We celebrate you specially. God bless you. We thank God for our life. We thank God for keeping her in good health and in joy for her to witness this special occasion in her life, 60 years. It's not a joke. It's all glory to God Almighty for this feat that she has achieved. Um, she's also celebrating her retirement from public service in Central Bank after serving meritoriously with the federal government. It's a two-in-one celebration, and we keep thanking God for this special grace. We thank God for the life of our husband too, Pastor Osahon Digye, because he has solidly stayed behind her, and both of them have actually moved successfully forward in their life journey. It's a great day. We could only wish her more successes, more achievements, and um, more glorious years ahead in good health and in mouth full of thanks to God Almighty. Happy birthday, my sister. God bless you, and God bless all your future endeavors. I serve uh, in FCT 12 as a pastor in charge of province, and that is where we have the privilege of getting um, to know um, Pastor Kemi, and um, we know her as a very, very calm person. As a matter of fact, um, there was a time we were taking some security measures to ensure that everything within the province and parish uh, goes on well and uh, in secure environment. That was when she came up and introduced herself calmly because she didn't want anybody to know who she was to us and who she was in the parish. So just a few people knew that she worked uh, in a strategic uh, position in Sibia. That is um, the Kemi that we have come to to know. We have some good memories about her. My wife, what do you say about her? Sister Kemi, as I call her, is a wonderful person, a personality that we always want to associate with. And as a child of God, 
you can see the aura of the presence of God. You can see the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit as recorded in Galatians chapter 5, 21-22. She is a friend indeed. We have gone beyond just being members of the same church to become friends. A sister, calm and quiet, doing the work of God unnoticed but impactful. She is a woman of valor, a woman of praise, as the Bible says. Her prize indeed is beyond rubies, and we really appreciate her for all her commitment, her counsel quietly, but doing it in the most perfect way to cause people to receive change in their lives. We really love and appreciate Sister Kim. Happy um, 60th birthday to an amazing sister-in-law. We wish you many more years ahead. We wish you long life and happiness. We wish you God's guidance, God's protection, even as you attain another milestone. We we'll pray that the Lord will continue to guide and ordain your steps. And we we'll pray for good health. We we'll pray for blessings. We we'll pray for God's grace upon your life. Um, you don't look a bit 60. You're the new 21, as they would say. We, you keep being beautiful, keep being you. Uh, we love you so much. And we hope that you have a fantastic time and a fantastic day. Uh, lots of love from us, from the boys as well. I uh, hope to see you soon. Happy birthday, sister. Um, well, I believe Barry has said it all anyway. Um, congratulations. Um, I can't believe you're 60. I can remember those days um, when I tag along to come and visit you in OAU in Ife. Um, through all those days, from their walks, um, Abe Okuta, I believe it was, then I'm um, down to um, CBN, definitely Benin, um, then back to Lagos, CBN. Um, but yes, we thank God for you. Um, um, we thank God for what He has used you to achieve over the years. We celebrate you as you turn 60. Um, and um, we we'll pray that as your days, so that church, so shall be your strength Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, we we'll pray that the Lord will continue to perfect all that concerns you. Amen. The rest of your days you will fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, in good health, Amen. in wealth, Amen. with peace of mind. Amen. Um, Definitely, you will see your children's children. Amen. And um, you will fulfill your days and destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We say you celebrate your day um, and you enjoy your day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, big mommy. We love you. Big mommy, we just want to say we love you, we appreciate you, we are so grateful to God for the gift of you. We want to declare that in this new season, the Lord is going to take you onto greater heights in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.